Thank you very much, members of the press. I'm Babu Owino, member of parliament in Bakasi's constituency. I'm here to warn some of the members of parliament who've been spreading false information on Governor Joe and the deputy party leader, ODM. <coughs> the following MPs, headed by Governor Sang, followed by Oscar Sudi, uh, uh, Aisha Jumwa, should desist from spreading information which are frivolous, fecal, and vexatious in nature about our governor of Mombasa. Actually, the MPs, as we know them, and as members of parliament, we know our colleagues, these are people who are half-wits, dim-wits, nimkompoops, and village salads. They should stop abusing our governor left, right, and center. They should know that this is the time to build the bridges. We cannot build two bridges ahead and you come from the back, you break one. We are watching you, we will do you from the back, and this is not intimidation. This will be a reality. We want to tell Kenyans that we are in the spirit of unifying this nation. This nation is just from, uh, an, an, uh, from a post-election post, uh, post violence where so many Kenyans lost lives, so many Kenyans lost properties, and this is the time that we've decided as leaders to bring together all Kenyans, all leaders. We don't want any other person lagging behind. This initiative is headed by our president, Uhuru Kenyatta, and our party leader, Right Honorable Raila Molo Dinga. The rest are others. So we are warning others who are in Tim Tanga Tanga and the Kiuno party of Kenya headed by Aisha Jumwa. These two people are in alliance. They are in bed with each other. Walisema wa shuki. Moja shuki kwa mwingine. Sasa waendele wa si shuke kwa mwingine. Waendele na kazi yao. Na wache wa Kenya wa kwa amani. We are aware that the deputy party leader and the governor Mubasa 001, Hali Hassan Joe, has been traveling to the United States of America frequently. And he was traveling without any summons. He's never been incarcerated in the United States of America. Why should fellow individuals, why should fellow Kenyans who lack brains start spreading malicious information on such a person? Let us play clean politics. This is the time to serve Kenyans. Let us serve Kenyans and wait for politics in 2022. The time that we were fighting, they were nowhere to be seen. That is the time that we expected them to release their arsenals. Otherwise now, they are losing the sight of a gazelle for a dashing squirrel. And let them be warned. Thank you.